Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to Flixit. The internet may still be on Johnny Depp's side, but it appears that Disney most definitely isn't. According to sources close to WGTC, and the same ones who told us that live-action remakes of Bambi and Robin Hood were in the works, and that Aladdin is getting a sequel, all of which were correct, the House of Mouse is reportedly no longer interested in bringing back the embattled actor in any capacity when it comes to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Apparently, the two sides were discussing a small role or cameo for the 57-year-old in the upcoming reboot, but now the studio is said to be abandoning those plans following the results of his trial. So, in this video, we're going to be talking about Johnny Depp's departure from the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise and what it means for everyone. But before we discuss more about this, please make sure you've pressed that red subscribe button along with the tiny bell icon to enter into our monthly shoutout giveaway. Just comment down below saying I subscribed and we will enter you into the giveaway. Just a few years ago, Johnny Depp was one of the highest paid actors in the world, but allegations of domestic violence made him box office poison. Petitions calling for his removal from the Pirates of the Caribbean and Fantastic Beasts franchises emerged. Depp, in a lawsuit against his ex-wife, Amber Heard, claimed that her allegations had hurt his career. According to a Washington Post report, Disney is said to have dropped Depp from the Pirates franchise just four days after Heard's incendiary 2018 op-ed in the same publication, in which she claimed, without naming Depp, that she was the victim of domestic violence. Depp's lawyers claim that the actor's removal from the multi-billion dollar grossing franchise was because of her allegations. The complaint also blamed Heard for Disney announcing that it had dropped Depp from the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise four days after the op-ed was published, the report said. In 2018, Disney production chief Sean Bailey confirmed that Depp was no longer a part of the franchise's future plans. He told The Hollywood Reporter, We want to bring in a new energy and vitality. I love the Pirates movies, but part of the reason writers Paul Wernick and Rhett Reese are so interesting is that we want to give it a kick in the pants, and that's what I've tasked them with. Another reason for his removal could be the fact that Disney couldn't afford him anymore. According to Forbes, Depp's salary, including a healthy profit percentage, reaches close to $100 million per Pirates film, but the last entry posted unremarkable box office numbers. Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales, the series' fifth film, registered a box office haul of almost $800 million, well below the over $1 billion totals of the franchise's second and fourth films and the $963 million haul of the third one. Disney is looking to save $90 million by recasting Depp, the report said. However, according to a new report, recent developments in Depp's ongoing legal tussle with Heard suggest that Disney might be having second thoughts about the actor. A We Got This Covered report claimed that, following a series of revelations in the court case between the two former spouses, we're now hearing that the 56-year-old could be set to reprise his Academy Award-nominated signature role in the upcoming sixth movie. The report said that Disney is looking to hire a female lead for the upcoming film, with Depp appearing in a supporting role. Well, that's all for today's video, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, then go ahead and share your thoughts by commenting below, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.